day 116, the prophet becomes invisible. It was long after midnight when about 200 men armed with their swords surrounded the prophet's house. They were seeing red. They were waiting for the morning to come and for him to come out of his house because according to the tradition, it was a sign of cowardice to kill someone in their sleep. The prophet was at home. He had done exactly what Jibril had told him and had put Ali in his bed. He knew that swordsmen had surrounded his house. He was neither scared nor anxious because he knew that Allah the Almighty had sent him as a prophet, so he was going to protect him. He bid farewell to the members of his household and opening the door, he left the house. On his lips were prayers and some verses of the chapter called Yasin. He saw hundreds of murderers with their swords in their hands. He took some soil from the ground and threw it towards them, and then he passed through them. He had been ordered to do this by Allah himself. What was this? When the Prophet did as he was told by Allah, he became invisible. Although they were right there in front of him, he walked through them. Those who wanted to kill him could not see him. The murderers surrounding the house went on waiting for the morning to arrive. Abu Jahl looked at the sharp edge of his sword and said, O oh sword, I have kept you for this occasion. The man next to him said, I have never seen anyone who is so full of hatred for Muhammad as you. Abu Jahl smiled joyfully by saying, From now on, you are not going to be able to see that either. It was just before dawn, the roosters were crowing. It was the sign that morning had come. Those surrounding the house were happy. Abu Jahl, talking to himself, said, O oh son, rise now, we are in a hurry. A man passing by came up to them and asked them, Why are you waiting here? They said, We are waiting for Muhammad. The man said, Muhammad has passed through you a long time ago. Anxiously, the man peeked through the window and seeing Ali in the bed of the Prophet wearing the Prophet's green sheet, they could not understand why the passing man had said that. No, they said, there he is. Muhammad is sleeping. He is in his bed. And then they returned to waiting for the sun to rise.